What's up guys? So this is going to be the install tutorial for LED license plate lights. Uh, I have a 2022 GMC Sierra Elevation, uh, the refresh. So we're going to be replacing these two bulbs because um, they're disgusting. Halogen bulbs, can barely see them. Just to me, just doesn't say, you know, new truck, anything like that. So we're going to be replacing them with these LEDs. And it's gonna be a full housing, plugs directly into the factory socket, uh, you know, normal. So uh, I'm gonna try and film this. It's just me. So um, I'm sure you're gonna hear my fat ass breathing, um, you know, everything like that. So feel free to roast me in the comments on that but um, I'm gonna crawl underneath it and I'm gonna try and give you best angle I can. I'm just gonna turn them off in the truck real quick just cause they're gonna be really hot. So, so this is the refresh. It's got the new interior. So I'll put that back on auto and, and we'll crawl underneath. The only thing that you're going to need is a seven millimeter socket which I have it on there. I have it on a bunch of extensions. Um, and I'll show you that in just a second. You're gonna need your light. I am only going to do one right now, just so when it gets dark, I can show you guys both of them. So anyway, let me, okay. So down here underneath the truck, spare tire. And then what we're gonna be working on this bolt right here there's your license plate so i'm gonna try and see if i can get my phone to stay in this little gap perfect okay and then what i'm using is an extension that runs all the way down and then i'm just doing it by my hand which is not exactly straight and I don't know if you can see that, but right there in the back is the little clip that it sits on. I've noticed mine likes to kind of turn. So if you're using, if you're somehow able to get a ratchet there and start turning it, make sure that you're not just, you know, twisting that back and forth because that definitely is a possibility. But I'm just twisting it. out and that was the reason for all the extensions is just because it's really hard to get out of your hand back there when you take that seven millimeter bolt out then take my ring off that still didn't help okay i'm able to come up top and before i let this housing come out i want to twist this valve out okay and then just take your finger and just kind of wiggle this. It has a little slide that it comes up. I'll try and show you that. But then entire housing is out. So let me show you. Slide in there a little bit. Is your bulb, but it just kind of slides in right here. A little slice. So now I'm gonna take the new one and let's see if I can slide it up there looking through the camera. There is not a whole lot of room on this side, so let me see if I can actually um, put it back in the little area that it was in before. And we'll see if it'll sit like that. Oh, oh that's terrible. Okay. So the camera stopped. Let me try and show you what I was talking about. Um, I go in here. There we go. So it just kind of, the new one and the old one, they just, that little notch just kind of slides in right here. So let me see if I can just set it back up. I'll back it out a little bit. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Look at that. All right. 
I can just kind of get this bulb out of the way. And uh, if you plan on reusing this bulb, I don't know why you would, but if you do, try not to touch it too much with your hand, just because the oils from your hand can cause it to prematurely wear out. So then you want to take it, and it's a little difficult to see for even me, not just the camera, but it just kind of slides in there. There we go. All right, just kind of slides in that gap, and then try to line it up. See if we can get our seven millimeter back in there. And I'm sure you guys can see that, I'm not idiots. So, just slides in right there. And we don't have it plugged in yet, so just, uh, we have such limited room, it's hard to do anything extra in there. So, I'm waiting as long as I possibly can for that. And I'm actually gonna see if it will let work if I put it on. Just this little adapter. And, oh, can't fit that way, okay. So, this is definitely the harder side just cause you have, for me, I've got my parking sensor here and I've got the um, tow package right here or my hitch, so it's just, there's very minimal room and I don't exactly have small hands. So let me just, perfect. It is lined up. Let me see if I can use my bunch of extensions that I have. Find them real quick, there we go. See if I can slide that through again. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, sorry my camera fell. So let me see if I can get that lined up. I'm just threading it with my fingers just to get it started. I feel it solid. I'll try and feed that back in. All right, cool. Actually gonna put it on a ratchet since I have so many extensions. And it, <laughs> if it's just good enough that as it starts to get tight, my extensions that it doesn't. So we're good there. And I'm gonna go ahead and it's probably gonna stop as soon as I do this, but let me get you a better shot on the... I'm sorry for so many camera jumps, but the way that the phone sits in there, because I'm filming on my iPhone, it keeps killing it when I pull it out because it hits the volume button, so that's cool. Anyway, so let's get this light kind of tucked back. Pull it. 
Again, if you plan on reusing the bulbs, try not to touch them with your finger so much because it will shorten the lifespan on them. I don't plan on using them. And if I do, I'm okay with having to buy a new bulb because I don't really care. Anyway, so this is kind of a pain in the ass. Just because you need to take this socket and plug in this little flat blade connector into it. So let me see if I can get it this way. Okay, so what after it feels like forever, I finally got the connector in and then from there you just line this piece up there we go. and then twist it and then we're done so let me get back up there and I will show you what it looks like during the day. So be right back. Okay, so it is obviously dark. I got a camera above, but go ahead and unlock the truck. <laughs> and just see the difference. My reverse light's coming too, but we can see all this light. So if we block that out, that's what we had before. That's what we have, so we'll, we'll block this one. Barely any difference whatsoever. Do it again. And I know it probably looks like they're flickering because they do have like a a gradual turn on just like the other ones did so they do get brighter there for a second so but yeah these are insane this is terrible i can't believe this came on in 2022 that's how it should have come from the factories full led like that let me click my truck one more time I almost caught it so there's a little animation again so um, let me go ahead and put the other one in and I'll show you the final look of it. Give me just a second. Okay, I got the second one in and let's go ahead and see it. That is insanely different. Absolutely crazy, I feel like. Lights all the way up, the light stops up here lights up the entire license plate I mean just just one does the trick but two show it one more time with these oxido um, reverse lights I think they look fantastic so got one more shot of it I like the way it highlights where it says Sierra. Really, really brings the truck a more modern look. I feel like makes it look a lot more like a 2022. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. The link for the lights will be in the description. If you have any questions, please put them down below, and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thank you.